Hi, it's Jeremy and Jamie at Gilbrook Farm, and these are 10 reasons why we homestead. We were called out by Rose over at Wholesome Roots to find out what are the 10 reasons that we want to homestead. Now, we kind of covered why we homestead in one of our earlier videos, as in why we chose homesteading over, say, being nomadic and traveling the world or choosing a different career. Um, but this is more specific to why we are choosing to continue to homestead, what we love about homesteading. So without further ado, 10 reasons why we homestead. Okay, so reason number one, first and foremost, we are preppers. I have this saying that prepping buys you time, homesteading buys you a lifetime. If you guys have ever seen any of my earlier videos on prepping, then especially the one on why we prep, then you can know that we don't just prep for end of the world zombie apocalypse. We're prepping for things such as job loss, which we have experienced, or for uh, a catastrophic event such as uh, an earthquake, which I have experienced. If you guys haven't checked that out, do so. Having a something like a pantry will buy you maybe depending on how long your pantry lasts will buy you uh, a couple weeks it could buy you a couple months it could buy you a year or even longer depending on how long your pantry lasts but what happens after that period of time depending on how detrimental or how long or how extended your uh, event is which maybe it's job loss and you're out of job for three years what happens after your pantry runs dry you need to have a plan b and that's where homesteading comes in homesteading is the extended plan to prepping so reason number one why we homestead is for prepping purposes. Reason number two, homesteading is adventurous. It is a constant science experiment. You're constantly learning, building, improving, building systems, solving problems, um, and that really appeals to us. Um, rather than a nine to five where you're doing the exact same thing every day, every day on a homestead is pretty much a new adventure, and we like it. Reason number three, quality of food. I know exactly how this beet was grown. I know exactly what went into it. And I know that it's going to taste phenomenal. But if you buy something from the grocery store, even if it's marked organic, you don't know that it's gonna taste good. You don't know what conditions it was grown under. Matter of fact, just the other week, because we don't grow strawberries here, I bought two different uh, types of strawberries. One was a conventional grown strawberry that was grown locally, and then there was organic strawberries, which were grown a couple hundred miles north of here. And I tasted both of them, and the conventional one tasted better than the organic. Just because something's marked organic doesn't mean that it tastes better, and doesn't mean that it necessarily is better. Um, I know exactly what went into my soil. I know exactly what nutrients are in this beet. And reason number three is that I want better tasting food. So the only way to do that is to do it yourself. Reason number four, freedom. The freedom to invest in our future and not in someone else's bottom line. The freedom to set our own hours, our own schedule, not work a nine to five, not fight traffic, not have a commute, not waste gas, not wear and tear on vehicles. All of the entrappings of excessive consumerism and the debt trap uh, that goes along with that, freedom from all of that, that is one of the biggest reasons that I homestead. Freedom. Number five, self-sufficiency. Jeremy and I are both very independent people and we like to be in control of our own lives. We're not under any disillusionment that the government or FEMA or any other national organization is going to always be there to take care of us. Not the banks, not anyone. And we want to make sure that we're able to take care of ourselves at least to the best extent that we can. Now, are we self-sufficient right now? Not hardly, but we're definitely on the right path and we're definitely going to make strides to get there and homesteading is going to be our way to do that. Number six, diversity. We're just not meant to do the same thing every day. Like I said, doing a commute to a nine to five, sitting at a desk, punching a clock, doing the same thing every day. I did it for a long time and man, it got old. It was miserable. Now, you never know what's gonna happen day in and day out. There's a different project all the time, a new challenge, things that I never have tried before, never have done before. You learn a lot, you gain a lot of experience, uh, and you know, learn skills that are at risk of being lost. 
people just don't do it anymore. So, diversity. You have something to say? Anything else? Can we continue shooting this video? Number seven, working with livestock. Okay. Just because I don't like cats and dogs does not mean I don't like animals. I can't tell you how many people tried to deter me from going down the homesteading path and getting animals because I didn't like dogs or cats. Turns out I absolutely adore animals and I just never really had the opportunity. I never grew up with farm animals or anything of the sort, so I never got to work with them. But I enjoy it. I enjoy every minute of it. I enjoy their antics and enjoy their little fluffiness. I'm like a little kid at a petting zoo all the time. I love working with livestock. Number eight. <clears throat> Less stress and enjoying the simpler things in life. It's kind of weird uh, and different when you actually slow down and smell the coffee. Go out to your garden in the morning and inspect all the leaves to make sure there aren't any bugs on them. Check on your chickens, make sure they're all okay. You have to slow down and that reduces your stress. I don't hate Mondays anymore. I don't care about alarm clocks. Most of the time I don't even know what day it is. That's an incredible feeling of freedom. Less stress. Number nine, having a sense of purpose. My life is entirely different now than it was two, five, ten years ago. Before, I was always looking for something else. The grass, I always thought the grass was greener on the other side. I was uh, traveling the world. I was uh, skydiving, scuba diving, always doing something adventurous and just, um, I don't know, trying to get my kicks or trying to find my, my way, trying to find a purpose. And I, I kind of find it now. I found it now. I'm content. Uh, I'm satisfied and I don't need to look. Every day now, I'm working for us. I'm working for our family. I'm not just trying to make money. I'm not just trying to earn um, enough income so I can go on the next thrilling vacation. I'm not just trying to sock money away into a 401k. Uh, I am building an investment in us and in our future. And for me, waking up every day, I've got something to do. I've got a purpose. And that is number nine. Number 10, homesteading is a creative outlet. And I really need that. I love solving problems, designing solutions, coming up with new ways to do things, making YouTube videos, you know, drawing, painting, creating things. And homesteading is the ultimate way to express my creativity. Also, chickens. They're really soft. Remember when you didn't want me to get chickens? More goats, more ducks, more geese, and you weren't going to be a farmer. I'm a ninja, you can't see me. Those are 10 of the many reasons we choose to homestead. We'd like to thank Rose for including us in this little uh, collaboration thing. And uh, we spent a lot of time thinking about all the reasons, and those are, I guess, our top 10. So, what? Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next video. Yeah. See ya. I lost track what I was saying. I got stuck in fluffy ears. Fluffy ear land. Fluffy ear land with little snot on your nose. <laughs>